Pressure makes diamonds. If you put coal under pressure for long enough, it will turn into a diamond. This analogy matters so much when you are an activist. If you are advocating for social change, if you're putting yourself out there, if you're putting everything online to be criticized, to be ran through a ringer, people will attack your character. They will question your values. They'll question your motives. They will say that you're in it for the fame, you're in it for the money, you don't really care about animal rights, you're a clout chaser, whatever, all of these things, right? They will say you're not doing it good enough, you, you're, not, you're not a good enough activist, you could be doing this or you should be doing it this way or you're putting people off or, or you, are too, you are too apologetic or you need to be doing this form of activism, that form of activism and I could do it way better and then you go to their page and they're doing nothing but they will criticize you, run you through a ringer and you'll have stresses of life, you'll have family troubles, you'll have, you get sick, but you have to be an activist, put yourself out there and continuously fight for the animals. Because let's face it, right? No matter the pressure that you're put under as an activist, the animals are in a farrowing crate with their baby piglets dead beside them or being forced into a gas chamber and suffering horrifically to death, right? The most extreme pain and suffering and struggle happens to these non-human animals in these farms and abattoirs. Horrible, horrible, sick, disgusting hell they have to go through, right? But I'm saying this to, to act activists and advocates mainly. And vegans who have to deal with friends and family and have to deal with social situations that are uncomfortable. Pressure makes diamonds. The more I'm put under pressure, the more I'm criticized, the more I fall flat on my face and everyone has something to say about it, the more I just get back up and keep grinding and keep focusing and focus on the animals, on the job at hand, okay, having massive perspective, you will get stronger. You'll be able to deal with stress and criticism and, and you know, all the things that come with it, right? You have to keep charging through. And, and sooner or later, like all of these things that used to really get to you, they used to really get to you. They just start naggling at you. You know, they just like nagging. You're not going to stop, are you? But what I do often see is that the people with the biggest opinions about what I should do, how I should do it, um, they don't do nothing. They don't do anything, right? They they got the bit. I'm I I always will. I always fight for that. You're doing it wrong. I go to their, their their page, right? Well, why isn't your whole life dedicated to animal rights like mine is? I'm not saying I'm better than anyone else and some people have life situations and this and that, but you're not doing anything and you've got the audacity to attack my character, my values and my motivations, right? Because if it's so easy, right? If it's so easy to do what I do, why aren't you doing it? Why aren't you putting your stuff online to get criticized and to get, you know, ran through a ringer constantly? No, you know, no privacy, nothing. Just constantly people either put you on a pedestal or they knock you off it and your ego's taking a battering constantly. Why aren't you doing it if it's so damn easy? If you can do it so much better, if you're such a better person, a better human and got such better values and you care so much more about the cause, why aren't you doing it then? Show me how it's done. If you, Don't talk about it in my comment section. Don't say, oh, this, that, the other. Do it. You know why you won't do it? Because under the slightest pressure, right? Under the slightest pressure, you give up. You will give up on the animals. So don't you dare, don't don't dare question my values because I know where my values are. I don't care what any of you think, right? I know where my values are. I know what my, my, my motivations are. And I drag myself to do things I don't want to do because it's the right thing to do. And I constantly do it. And I've been doing it since 2015, putting myself in uncomfortable situations. I come from a life of drugs, alcohol, mental health issues. And I put myself in the most uncomfortable positions, and I'm not, I'm uneducated, I educated myself as I, when I left the gangs and got sober, I educated myself, and I have social anxiety, and I had all of these issues, right, but it didn't matter, because the perspective was, if a dairy cow is having a calf taken, separated, and a calf shot in the head, and she's having to give milk and get raped by a dairy farmer, and be mutilated and suffering and lame and limping and then has to go to a slaughterhouse to be minced up into a burger. That is way worse than anything I can experience by being an activist. The perspective is what kept me an activist. Now, what really pisses me off, what really pisses me off is the people who think they know it all don't do anything because the ones who do do something actually have a little bit more respect because they know how difficult it is to be an activist for years and years and watch animals suffer and be and walk through factory farms covered in shit watching animals suffer to death 
on their faces, right? And you can't even help them. And then people go, well, why didn't you save them? Look, listen, there's, there's a great saying. And David Goggins, a guy who's a motivational speaker, he said this saying, it's really good. Even if you walk on water, your haters will say it's because you can't swim. The, the, the people who are going to hate and criticize are always going to do that because you reflect inside of them uh, something that they aren't doing. That's what it is. You you actually, by you doing these things, it makes people feel like, well, I, I should be doing that, but I but there's something inside you. You're holding yourself back and don't don't attack me because you don't have the courage to stand up for what you believe in. And don't say, go in the comments, oh, oh, you should do it this way, that way. I'll do it way better. Well, do it, mate. Do it and show me how, how long you last. All right? Now, um, I get a lot of support and I'm extremely grateful for that. Um, but obviously, if I didn't, I would still be doing it because it's not about any of you. It's about the pig who can't say thank you. All right? That's why we're doing it. That's why we put ourselves through absolute crap constantly in in farms at 3 a.m watching piglets die and you can't even euthanize them because and they just suffer and die and they're just going to get smashed to, to death by a farmer in the morning and you got to walk out with the footage hoping that you're going to make a difference and you go in the comment section you got meat eaters anti-vegans constantly running me through a ringer but you know i don't really care that much about what, what they say because they're they i i understand that they're going to hate right i understand that they're going to hate but people who claim to be animal rights activists who say they're vegan right who aren't doing shit, dare come into my comment section and question my values and what I stand for and, and, and claim that I don't care about animal rights, now you're trying to, now, you, now you've got a problem. Now you've got it. Because I don't go, you know, if I don't like a certain activist, I don't start questioning their values, right? Because you're mind reading at that point. But, but what does, what will test you, what will really test you is when you get put under pressure and when, when you're not getting the thank yous and, and when you do something that no one knows about and you'll never speak about, but you do it because your conscience is watching and then you put up something and, you know, you put your heart into it and then you get slammed by your own, the people who are on the animal side, right? But the people who have the strongest criticisms ain't out there doing it because they're like those lazy people who criticize sports people and go oh, well, uh, why aren't you you know i would have done that better oh you did a bad job you get out there and do it you can't do it you can't do it or you don't have the fortitude to withstand the pressure now now that's a little uh rant for those people who i'm talking about and everyone can do a little bit look this isn't about this isn't about being a hero oh i do so much more than this there's, 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 look everyone can take on as what they can take on but also being charitable, being looking at the bigger picture, right? Because yes, you might you might think, oh, well, you didn't perform that well that time, or you didn't do that well that time. That's okay, because I've got years ahead. I've done years of work, and I've got years more to do. But if you sp if some of these people spend more energy, more passion, more more of their intellect, more of what they've got to give, actually focusing on doing the thing that they think they're so smart at that they think they know better at, if they spent more time like doing that thing, you, you'd probably be a lot more productive, eh? You'd be a lot more productive. But this is a video about pressure making diamonds, right? So anyone who is under, the, under pressure, no matter what it is, you're gonna have life pressure, things happen, you will be stronger, you will get stronger. And I, I say this in my speech and I think it's great. Start where you are, use what you have, do what you can, all right? And don't give a damn what anyone thinks about it because people are just projecting their insecurities onto you. You know, they might feel, oh, you're making me look bad because I'm a vegan and I don't like how you were a little bit aggressive there or that yada, 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 whatever, right? At least I'm out there doing it and I'm doing an okay job. I'm doing my best and a lot of activists do their best, right? And the last thing activists need, right, which we're going to get at and there's no way of stopping this. The last thing activists need is some know-it-all going, oh, you look like just coming from your own corner. And I know that no one's, we're not all, all going to agree at all times. Sometimes we're going to misinterpret and miscommunicate. And I get that. But, and it's fine, like, if you were out there giving it your best and that, and then you're, but, you know, what I find is that the ones who are out there giving their best are too focused on their own projects, are too focused on the animals, right, to give a damn what other people are doing, right? 
unless it's completely horrible and problematic and it needs to be spoken about. But the ones who are the, they're sitting on their, on their chair, on their phone, in the comfort of their house, right? And they've got all the right answers and they've got all the criticisms and they've got all of this, but no action. They're the ones I'm talking about. So I'm not talking about, you know, supportive people who are like, uh, you know, they, they don't, you know, they can't, they can't get out there. They, they've got life things happening. They do their best. I'm talking about the know-it-alls who try to bring activists down when that's the last thing we need. But pressure, keep coming, keep it coming. Pressure makes diamonds. So stress and pressure makes diamonds. And I bet you that the minute that you, that these uh, people who know it all, they do a little bunch of this and that and the other, the minute you get a bit of pressure back, you'll fold, you'll fold. And then we'll see who's really dedicated. We'll see who's really dedicated and who's still here in 10 years. Who's still here in 10 years time? I know activists that have been activists for 40 years, 40 years, right? And they're still hearing plants full pain. They're still investigating and still, they, 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 are so, they are absolutely amazing people, right? And we all come from different walks of life. And we, we're not always gonna agree on everything, right? But I'm specifically, these people that do this, that aren't out there doing it, less doing this, more action, and if you're coming up with stress, adversity, and pressure, keep going because you're just going to be stronger for it. You're just going to be a lot stronger for it. And no matter, and this is kind of universal. You can use this philosophy all throughout your life. Pressure makes diamonds.